Wow, did you guys see that new Joker trailer? The first movie for me is one of those films that's obviously exceptional, but it's not the most pleasant movie to watch, so I've only seen it a couple times. It was the DC villain movie that I didn't really think could work or didn't think that it was needed, but man, it blew me away, and same thing with the box office, just blew everything out the water. The title of the second movie is Folly Adore which in French means a shared madness or psychosis or delusion. And after watching this trailer, I think that perfectly sums up what it looks like we're about to get. I think we as an audience are due for some fresh, just dark and gritty comic book content. And it appears that we're gonna get just that with this movie. Our guy Arthur looks like he's going to be causing way more chaos this time around. We see riots in the streets and a lot of people that seem like they are very inspired by him. Uh, we see clown masks and things like that. And if you listen, it sounds like this movie takes place a couple years after the first one. So I wonder what the inciting incident is going to be that causes all that civil unrest. And Lady Gaga just looks like great casting because you can already tell she's just going to absolutely crush the role of Harley Quinn. Her character looks like she's going to be joining in on everything that takes place maybe even causing it. Gaga has always come off as just super eccentric and maybe even just a little bit crazy. And that just makes her the perfect person for this role. And I'm glad this version of Harley just is gonna dive head first into that toxic relationship with the Joker because that's just such a big part of the character. And we haven't seen a ton of that in live action just yet. And am I the only person that forgot that this was supposed to be a musical? There's obviously elements of that throughout the trailer. Musicals don't usually tend to be my favorite kind of movie, but I'm willing to give this movie some leeway just because of how great they did last time. The music in the trailer took a song that's usually pretty chipper and friendly and just made it sound so creepy and eerie. And at the end of the trailer, it just builds up and becomes so grand. And just my takeaway from that is that I think this movie is really going to be a ride uh, with lots of just highs and lows from both of these characters. And Joaquin Phoenix is back here as Arthur Fleck, the Joker. We get a lot of great shots of him in this trailer. Uh, one of my favorites is where he's in the police car, just looking around, taking in all the chaos that he caused and just loving it. We get that iconic Joker laugh there as well. And then the scenes with him and Harley towards the end of the trailer just look like perfection. I especially like the one where they're just dancing down the staircase, which is reminiscent of the first movie. Um, and then them on the stage as well, also kind of like the, the first movie. Looks like we might have two unreliable narrators this time around. The only thing that I think is kind of a shame is just that we won't get to see this Joker and Harley be the ones that go up against the Robert Pattinson Batman or the new Batman from the DCU. I guess we can't have everything, but I'll definitely be there October 4th to give this movie a watch.